Hello. This video is going to be <laughs> several days combined because it's been so nasty outside. I haven't been able to get outside. Um, just rain and wind and one of my Facebook friends even posted that this last month and a half has kind of put the nail in the coffin for living in Oregon and I, I can definitely see why. But I'm gonna give you a little update on some things that have gone on here and there, nothing exciting to record. Well, kinda, I do, I do have one cool update. So, um, okay, let's get to it. This is the corner that I'm most excited about because there's so many bright, pretty colors and this is what I did a few weekends ago. And then here's the one where I planted seeds. So with all this rain, look at that, they're really coming up. And I probably put too many seeds in there. Who knows what it's gonna look like. There's the cardboard coming up because of the dog. Oh, look, there's my cat in the neighbor's yard. Come here, Nino. This is growing real good. Again, more cardboard showing through. Rain probably washes it away. But this is all the mulch that I've put down. This bush is getting pretty big. There's a weed right in the middle of it. Most of these are just leaves that have fallen. They're not actually, their leaves are not actually weeds. Um, some of them are weeds. And then this is where I ended. But look, just a few weeks and they're all back. It's so frustrating. But I don't care, I'm just gonna like pick up these big sticks here from the wind and put cardboard over it. I'll pull out some of these big ones, but cardboard's gonna go over this and then I'm gonna go get some mulch. But look at what the windstorm did. Jeez, took down a whole branch. I think this tree definitely probably needs pruned, but took out this whole branch. And now I gotta get rid of it. Here's what's the exciting news. I posted on Facebook Marketplace and I said, come get wood, it's free. It's just come haul it off. And look how much the guy took, a lot. He said he's gonna come back today See if you can get the rest of it, and the rest of that will definitely fit in this truck. But my gosh, it's so heavy. That's why I don't help when they load it up. So I'm slowly pulling this tree. You might hear it in the background. Oh, I got stuck. Well, I'm gonna get stuck right here. Oh, <laughs> I lost my shoe. God. Okay. All right, it's over here. And look, I pulled all these two, and they're coming back. So frustrating. Listen to their dog. It's a beautiful day. Not really, because you see the clouds, but this is what's beautiful. This. Oh my gosh. All the wood's gone. I cannot be more happy. Look at my poor grass. We're gonna work on that, but um, this is what I'm super excited about. So now I gotta get to work on this part. Let me just tell you for the record, that is not my dog barking. My dog does not act like that. I'm testing my math skills again. I measured from this corner, where the tennis ball is, down to here. Divided it by the size of these. So I'm gonna do this on that side. And said that I needed 21. Well, it said I needed 20.3. I'm not cutting it, so I gotta figure out how to get it to fit, but I'm gonna see how good my math is. Cause I did go by 21. 
This is what big scary pit bulls do around cats. Get Nino. Nope. Not having it. In case you don't believe me that we got a lot of rain, this is my uh, debris bucket. Look how much water's in there. Okay, my calculations were correct. I'll show you. Here's where I started. Coco's inspecting it too, aren't ya? And I got all the way down here. This was hard. I had to dig up a bunch of dirt. Look at all that. So I got all the way down here. Right there. Now, if I was a perfectionist, I would cut this last one to fit there. But I'm not, so I'm not going to. This is staying. I'm not I'm not gonna put the border around that one. I'm too tired. Um, but I do have an edger, and I'm gonna edge that up real good. And I need to mow. And I have mulch. So I'm gonna put this away, catch my breath, and mow over this. Wow, mowing this made a big difference. There's still a little a lot of bald spots. This is where grass wouldn't grow. <laughs> Look at it now, with no shade. It's coming up like crazy, but I really want to cut that even so it doesn't look wonky like that. But big difference. So I think I'll just put some something down. I don't know. I think I got this three-in-one grass stuff I'll put down. I think I still got mulch I have to lay, but whew, after mowing all that, I'm tired. Are you worn out too? Huh? No, you don't get worn out. So, here's the other side that I moved. Looks better also. Took the weed eater and went around the edges. I gotta cut this limb down and get it in the bin. Just too much to do in one day when there's no rain. Okay, this is where I left off, and I bought four bags, and I got to there, because that's all the cardboard that I had, and there's half a bag, and there's a full bag. I am actually putting them on pretty thick out here, but our cardboard bin is empty. Maybe the fam was listening to me after all. Okay, I'm sweating my ass off again, and my son's in the hot tub. I planted some more flowers. So, I know they're gray pots, but there's some pretty flowers in there. I need a lot more soil, but I ran out of potting soil, and I'm not gonna uh, go back to the store and get any more. I tried to get my sneeze on camera again, and it didn't work. So he's gonna be really sneezy because I moved the lawn. But good news, my husband says he thinks he's ready to be able to mow the lawn next weekend, so. That will save me so much energy so I can do fun stuff. <sighs> kind of fun, I guess. All right, I'm going to sit here in front of the fan that I'm going to turn on right now and sign up for the night. I know it doesn't look like I did a whole lot, but I did because um, mowing the lawn is a whole chore in itself. So have a good night.